Hello everyone, welcome to A Sciences and today we are going to see a code which is related to weather forecasting. So in this we are going to bring in a data which will have things such as temperature, humidity, wind speed and things like that. And we are going to see how we can perform forecasting on it with the help of profit library. Okay. So uh, of course previously we have not discussed profit. That's why I have uh, you know uh, picked that up for today. It is a very important library for forecasting. So first let's bring in a few libraries. The first thing is pandas. Then we have numpy. Then we have uh, plotly express matplotlib and seaborn of course we might not use them all because uh, we might you know uh, like to go towards some sort of uh, you know dot or the other we will see that when the time comes dot pyplot as plt and after that i'm going to import seaborn as sns and Plotly express as px so import plotly dot express as px and let's do that and after that i'm going to bring in the data so data is available in the csv file daily climate train so let me write that so pd dot read underscore csv and in this i'm going to write daily climate train dot csv okay and let's do this and let's show the data so these are the five columns that are available date mean temperature humidity wind speed and mean pressure okay so now the main problem that we have in this data set we cannot say the word problem but th uh, that is you know with everything that uh, uh, is going to be forecast is that it is not in the format of uh, you know uh, date year and month so we always have to do that okay uh, almost always right so that this is a format of what time series so let's change it so that uh, we have that change okay so first what we need to do is we need to write data and then we need to write date so date will be the first thing and here i'm going to write pd dot to date time this is the function that is used every time we are going to perform forecasting and then we are going to write data and here we are going to write date and after that we are going to write format and what is the format the format should be this it's always similar okay so first percentage sign year then slash percentage sign month and then dash percentage sign day okay day or date whatever you want to call it so this is the first one i hope everything is okay there okay and the second one is data and here i am going to write year so let's write year here and for year i am just going to bring in the year and so data and date here so date dot dt dot year it is going to pick only the year part and at the end what we have is the month so for that i am going to write data month and in this i'm going to write data and then date and after that dot dt dot month 
let's run this maybe we have some error in this or not we'll see okay so this is the second step right and now we have been able to do that in this format okay so as you can see we have year right here so it is mentioning the year that is present in the date and we have the month right here it is mentioning the month that we have in the date okay so now that we have everything we want to you know use this the next step is to make a new data frame so let's just write forecast is equal to data dot rename and in this i'm going to write columns is equal to uh, what are the two columns so the first one is date and in this i'm going to write ds after that we have mean temp that i'm going to write as well because i'm going to work on mean temperature for now so let's write mean temp and change that with y okay so let's do that it is saying that why okay so there were there was supposed to be this around y so this is what we have in the forecast so let's write forecast here and there we go we have ds and y okay so what is the next step the next step is to actually use profit and first we are going to make a model and then we are going to perform the fitting with the forecast data and then make the predictions so let's do that first thing first from profit import profit that is the first thing and the second thing is from profit dot plot import plot underscore plot because it gives us this uh, you know very good option to help us in plotting so and the second one is plot underscore components underscore plotly okay so after that we are going to give it the model so model is equal to profit and after that we are going to perform the fitting so for that model dot fit is equal to forecast model dot fit is equal to what was the name of the data frame it's the same name no okay let me okay yeah so this model was supposed to be a function so i made this a variable and forecast and after that uh, what i can do is i can also make a uh, is it forecast or forecast yeah it is forecast okay now i am going to make forecast prediction okay and for that i am going to ask it to make future predictions for a whole year so make future underscore data frame and in this i'm going to write periods is equal to 365 okay so forecast underscore prediction and after that i'm going to write prediction is equal to model dot predict and then i'm going to write forecast underscore prediction 
ओके आफ्टर दैट आई एम गोइंग टू राइट प्लॉट अंडर स्कोर प्लॉट ले to show us the plot and we are going to bring in two things the first one is model and the second one is prediction so there we go we are getting different values in this and this is the forecasting part that we have predicted in 2018 so as you can see this is a very good sort of methodology to do the plotting and this library is very much useful for the people who are interested in forecasting so for more videos like this keep watching ai sciences